In today's video, we are going to be making this crochet basket. So I made this with four millimeter braided macrame cord. And today for the video, I am going to be using this jumbo nine millimeter macrame braided cord. I will drop a link to this in the description box below. I am so excited to use this cord. It is so fabulous. And I think it is going to make such a beautiful basket. So I got this from mad for macrame. And again, I will put it in the box below. I am going to be using a 15 millimeter crochet hook for this. When you buy this cord, always make sure you pull from the end that has the knot. Okay, we are going to start with a magic ring. So I'm going to place it over two fingers. And because this is so thick, it's very important to keep your tension nice and loose. So place your hook over one, pull the other one underneath. Give it a twist then I grab it here and then just chain one when I do crochet I normally wrap it around my fingers but because this is thick in order to keep my tension looser because if I do it my regular way I find that I still do it too tight I try to just rest it over my finger that's just a little tip if you are trying out such jumbo cord for your first time I find that it's a little easier to keep your tension a bit looser when you hold it like this. So we will start with six single crochet inside of this magic ring. So honestly, I'm like barely holding it. I'm just like letting it rest on my hand. And then here is number six. So you can double check your count by going one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the tail end and pull it closed. So if it becomes loose, don't worry about it. You can always just tighten it again after. So I am going to take out my crochet hook and place it underneath the first stitch that we made. And then hook it on and pull it through. Oop. Okay. Chain one. So I'm going to attempt this. I haven't tried it yet with this thick cord but we are going to be crocheting in this V. It is already hard to do on regular cord and t-shirt yarn, so that is why I say it's important to try to keep it loose. So we are going through this V and through the back V. So we will place two single crochet inside of that. So just push it through and then you'll see that it split the V in the back. And then do your two single crochet. Do the same thing in all of the rest of them. So I always double check the back so you can see that that one did not go through. So I'm going to pull it out and then push it back through so it goes through the center of both of them. I don't know that it matters if it goes through on the back side, but I just try to make sure that it does. because we're pulling it so much the hole opens up, but it's okay again, we can just tighten it again after.
Okay, and then I have two more to place right here, and then that will be it for this round. Okay, so when you're done, you should have 12. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, again, we are going to go through the top of the first stitch that we made. Okay, once it's there, chain one. Okay, now we are going to place one single crochet and then two, so then it's gonna go one, two, one, two, all the way around, and then we will have 18. So each round will increase by six. Okay, so again, going through that V, place your first single crochet. And this one will have two. And then one. And then two. Okay, do this all the way around and then I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, I have 18. Again, I am going to insert my hook here on the first one. The good thing about this thick cord is it's really easy to tell where your stitches are. Pull it through. And chain one. So on our second round, we did two single crochet in each one. Then we just did one and then two and then one and then two. Now we're going to do one, one, two, one, one, two. So each additional round, you just add another single. So if you want to keep going and make this larger, you would just do one, 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 two, one, 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 two, and you just keep going. So um, you can see because this is so much thicker, I'm already at the same size. So I'll probably go around one or two more times and then um, start the sides. So we are going to start here, the first one, and I'm going to put one here, one here, and then two. As you keep going, um, it gets a lot easier to work with. It's just in the beginning, it feels a little tougher because it feels a little tight, but it's good now. I'm gonna do two here. And then I'm gonna do another single, so just one. And another one by itself. And then two into the next one. Okay, so continue that all the way around. One, one, two, one, one, two. Okay, now I have 24. Chain one. And again, it's gonna be one, 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 two. So three by themselves and then two. So one, 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 two. Okay, 
okay there's three so one two three and now I'll put two in this one So just repeat that all the way around, you should end up with 30. Okay, so I am done. I have 30 stitches, and this ends up being almost 10 inches wide. And the inside of the basket will end up being about eight inches. And again, I made the same amount of rows on this one, but what a huge difference. So this is nine millimeter and this is four millimeter. So now at this point, we are going to do the same thing to close it. And this is just how I make it. You can do it another way, but um, this is how I made the smaller one. So I'm just showing you how I did it. I did that same thing. So once you place it inside, I did a chain one. And then I reversed my direction like this so that this is the inside. And we're going to be working into the back loop only. So if we were going this way doing back loop only, that would actually mean we'd have to flip it this way. And then the bottom would be the inside. That's why I'm turning it and I'm going to work into the back loop only. So that would be this, these two right here, the single crochet turns into a V. We're going to go into this back loop. Okay. So single crochet into the back loop. And again, try to leave these loose. Back loop. And just do that all the way around so you should end up with 30 single crochets all the way around. Okay, and I have one more, that little one right there. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did for the bottom, come in through here, pull it through, chain one, so for each round we will slip stitch, chain one, and then we are going to do single crochets into the V's like we were doing at the bottom. So I'm going to do a single crochet right through that V. Okay, so just do them all the way around and you should end up with 30 of them. Okay, and again, the same thing, connect it the same way and we are just going to repeat this process and you could do it as many times as you want just depending on how large you want your basket to be. So chain one and then repeat this process. So just put single crochets all the way around. Okay, I have one more to go. Okay, so I ended up doing from the bottom, we have one, two, three, four rounds. Okay, so now we're going to do a zigzag trim all the way around. So I am just going to simply slip stitch into that first one and then chain one. And the whole way around we're going to do that. Slip stitch, chain one. Slip stitch, chain one. And that's it. You just do that all the way around. Slip stitch, chain one, and that will create the zigzag. Okay, I am done. And I'm going to cut it. And then, I did not go into this one yet. I'm just gonna pull this through. Okay, so now I am going to put this through here. Going from the inside, wrapping it, tighten it a little bit. And then I'm going to stick it through here and this back one.
that just kind of helps repeat the pattern a little bit. It's not perfect, but you can't really tell. So now I'm just going to weave this through the inside and weave this down here and then snip off the ends real quick. Okay, that is it. It is beautiful. So this is the seam. I was doing it the way that I did it because I've seen other people do it that way and I like the way that it looks because it's not as noticeable as some of the other ones that I've done. And I really like the way that the zigzag looks. I think it adds the perfect touch to this basket. So look at the difference in the size. It's practically the same exact amount of stitches, but what a huge difference. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.